In 2013, a startup called Pacific Broadband Satellites Group set out to close the digital divide in remote and developing areas of Asia Pacific. By 2020, thanks to their comprehensive business plan and innovative technology, they were providing access to affordable satellite broadband to 600 million people, connecting rural businesses and governments, enabling telcos to expand their networks, and improving the economies, healthcare, education, and disaster resilience of local communities, one connection at a time. For their new network, Pacific selected Boeing to build their state-of-the-art high-throughput satellite, Pacific One. And then they chose Kratos to support it, extending Pacific's reach and enhancing affordability. We selected Kratos um, because there was a high quality focus. Um, of course, there was also a value focus in terms of pricing and what would be delivered uh, for, the, for the project. Um, but beyond that, uh, Kratos had also this long-term focus. Uh, wanted to make sure that we had a partner that was present globally, uh, that had a present in our region, and also that had the interest of Pacific in mind. As a strategic partner for Pacific, Kratos assisted in all phases of the project, including antenna location selection, site survey management, and equipment imports, and then manufactured and constructed five 9-meter KA band gateways in three different countries, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Australia, all completed in a year and a half. Overall, Kratos played a crucial role in the gateway installation process, providing expertise, project management, and integration service to ensure the successful deployment and operation of an antenna system for KSFU. With multiple sites spread across a large service area, a key question was how to connect everything in a reliable and resilient way. Pacific used Kratos RF over IP technology, digitizing the antennas at all five locations to remove distance limitations, and included diversity sites to make the network resilient against rain fade, natural disasters, or any other service interruption. Beyond the antenna hardware and digitizers, Pacific employed a suite of Kratos management products that protect signal quality, assure equipment health, increase situational awareness, and command and control current and future satellites, resulting in an efficient, resilient satellite network fueled by real-time information and running in a constant state of operational improvement, offering 99.9% .9 availability. Then finally, we also needed a collaborative partner found that again in Kratos in making sure that they are always aligned uh, with Pacific in the way we operate, in our vision for the future. And uh, I'm, I'm delighted to say that we would like to continue that journey in the future as we expand our satellite, expand uh, our you know, future constellation of geostationary satellite, and uh, we'll continue uh, partnering with, with Kratos in the future. Connecting isolated communities sustainably and cost-effectively is a challenge for the satellite industry. Pacific continues to prove that it is possible to accomplish both successfully. When the Pacific One satellite launched in the second half of 2019, the gateways were complete and commissioned to begin receiving signals, with all the management data converging at the Network Operations Center in Singapore. By the first half of 2020, Pacific One began delivering broadband services across Asia-Pacific. And today, there are half a million end users supported by Pacific's connectivity to help ensure delivery of critical power, to enhance security, education, and healthcare, and to improve disaster resilience with real-time communications access for 600 million people in the APAC region. To learn more about Pacific's network build-out, get the full case study at kratosdefense.com slash Pacific.